Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are again with our old friend, the runner SA. So we have doing an ADA response here, but what I'm doing would be true in terms of the process I'm following for whatever type of SA you're doing. So I have my, um, my contention, which is that he is most of the time a true friend to Norman Heath or Nostrils. So I start out with a very simple topic sentence, which is, he is helpful. Now that is, aside from missing a full stop, a very short sentence, and I can do better than that. So, Charlie Fian. Um, I want to say he's helpful. He's helpful to many people. but especially to his best friend, Norman Heath, not Norman Heath, Normal Heath, Norman Heath, also known as Nostrils, and because I'm showing off here, I want to show what a clever student, um, also known as Nostrils, because of his very large nose. So, I have improved my topic sense. I've gone from he, I'm expanding on who he's helpful to, and I'm giving a little bit of extra information about Norman. But what I'm not doing is retelling part of the story. That's actually going to come in the body paragraphs, but for now, it is sufficient that I am saying what I think is true, and what I think is true is that he is helpful to many people. But you know what I actually haven't said? Is helpful to many people, da 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 da, da. Second sentence, because I, you can have more than one sentence here. This is the sign or is a sign anyway, of a true friend. Because that's what I'm arguing, he is a true friend. So I want to bring it back to that. Now, the second one, he runs away when Nostrils needs him. Now that is factually true in this story, but it's actually not an idea, it is an example. And what I mean is that Charlie Fian is not always brave enough to protect his friend from harm. I will add detail to that about when he's not brave enough to protect him, but for now I'm just making the statement. Um, and I'm going to put another sentence too. Charlie thinks that this makes him a bad friend. Because in actual fact nobody else judges ha um, Charlie harshly for this, but Charlie's very hard on himself about this. He is generous. Again, he can be Charlie. Charlie is generous. Who with? He is generous with nostrils. Nostrils and shares both big and small things with him whenever he can. So again, I'm beefing out the sentence, but not just with filler. I'm actually filling it up with information. He's not just generous, it's with nostrils. And it's not just big things like the wood yard, it's small things. He goes to see him at the footy. He invites him over, obviously, for the party at the end. He goes to his house. You know, he gives him the address for the race. He brings him in on his part-time job. And the final sentence in our introduction is basically restating what it is that we want to believe. Um, so these things show us, us that Charlie really is a good friend to Nostrils um, most of the time. And that's it. That's our introduction. And I've got my three topic sentences. Now these are not year 12 level topic sentences, but they're perfectly acceptable for year 7 or 8. And this is about the length and level of detail that you should be aiming for.